Good evening, church. Welcome to Wednesday Night Thoughts. I hope everybody having a great day. Tonight we're going to study from the book of Psalms, Psalms 108. It is a book that David wrote, um, a chapter actually that David wrote, Psalms 108, a song or psalm of David. It's a time um, during David's personal sorrow and also sorrow for the nation and he's crying out to God Almighty. Similar to us today, we cry for our, our own sorrow, our own longing for our Lord and also sorry for our nation, what our nation is going through. So it's similar in context re relative to what is going on today. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp, loop and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth that they beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Judea is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt thou, O God, who has cast us off? And wilt not thou, O God, go forth in our host? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall dread down our enemies. It's amazing, though, what David went through. David, known as a man after God's own heart. David, who was king of Israel. And even though he sinned before the sight of God, he had a repentative heart. And, and he came to the Lord for forgiveness. And he cried out to God. And God forgave him and still blessed him him in his kingship over Israel. This is a time where he always goes out and exalts the God. He was also a, a king who was known who danced before the Lord. He truly worshiped the Lord with all of his heart. He's a good example for us to follow because he was the king, but yet he also had his own personal sorrows. And he went before the Lord in regards to both of them. He cried out to God. He wept. He was full of sorrow. And he had all these nations that he was going to go up against. And he went before the Lord and said, Lord, what shall I do? And the Lord answered him. And that's when he says, I will go in and triumph through the Lord. All those places he named off, he had the victory. I really liked verse 13. Through God, we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. That is a verse that has a lot of significance. It's very important to realize that the battle is the Lord. All of us go through trials and sorrows, and all of us should always first, number one, exalt the Lord, no matter what we're going through, like King David did, always seeking him knowing that he is there, worshiping him, praising him. We are in a spiritual warfare, all of us, either personal spiritual warfare, we each have our own battles, or we are aware of the spiritual warfare that's going on in our nation. We should cry out to God to help us in our personal battles, like King David, and also cry out to God to save our nation, it says also for us to pray for our leaders. We should constantly spend time in prayer, praying that God will open our eyes, praying that we will humble ourselves before the God Almighty, 
praying that we will return to serve the one true king, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, God Almighty. It is unfortunate that we have to go through this. And that's what the spiritual battle is. Ever since the fall of man, ever since we took that bite of the apple and was kicked out of the garden, evil surrounds us. We are dealing with sin. All the pain, all the suffering, all the hurt that we are dealing with is a consequence, is the result of not only our sin, but the sin of our forefathers, people before us, the people around us. So every evil that we come across, every death, every destruction, every heartbreak, we should not blame God. God is a just God. God is a God of love. He does not want any one of us to perish. He wants us to experience his reality, his love, his joy, his peace. He came to give us life, abundant life. And it's only through the victory of Jesus Christ can we even experience that. To really be able to experience the love, the victory, the grace of God, we have to humble ourselves, seeking His grace, seeking His kingdom, worshiping Him, lifting Him up, asking for His help. And it does says, for it is He that shall tread down our enemies. If we keep our sight on our Heavenly Father, knowing that no matter what is going on, we do have the victory. What we are going through is only temporary. God Almighty lasts forever. And I pray that you will experience that, realize that, acknowledge that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, is in control even though we don't understand it, even though we don't think that He cares for us because he does. He will never leave us. He'll never forsake us. He was always there. His will is perfect and complete and acceptable. Even though we don't understand what we're going through at the current time, we have to realize that everything works out to the best of his will because we love God and we are called according to his purpose. And I want to pray for you tonight. Pray that God will reach down and touch your hearts Touch your minds, touch your souls, that you'll experience the peace and comfort, the victory that he has given us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just bow down before you. We just humble ourselves. We exalt you, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, God Almighty. We acknowledge that we can't do anything by ourselves. It is only through your grace, your mercy, so that no matter what we are going through, what our nation is going through, we acknowledge you as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We lay everything at your feet, our personal lives and our nation, the leaders of our nation at your feet and pray that you'll just reach down and touch us. Open our eyes, open our ears to see and hear your ways, your will, your righteousness. Lead us, guide us, direct us, Help us to humble ourselves and return to you, Almighty God, and restore our nation, knowing that the victory is in you and you alone. I pray for all those that hear this. I pray that they will experience your reality. I pray that you'll reach down, touch them, fill them with your Holy Spirit, fill them with the spirit of your love, your truth, the Holy Spirit of comfort. We need that at the time of this, Heavenly Father. And we trust in you in all areas. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. I pray that reading Psalms, you will know that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, cares for you and is there for you and wants you to experience the victory. But we have to trust in him. Have a good night. God bless.